We got time for another end of the draft. All right. We had a few close losses there. I think our deck last draft was missing a few. The deck needed a few better payoff cards the late game. I guess there's not many people drafting tonight. All right, let's go. Ivy Rare. All right, solid card. Three. It's bad. Good, decent landfall creature. Deadly Alliance. Re removal spell. So right now, I'm thinking between the Paragon or just a Deadly Alliance. Let's try the Paragon. All right, the rare was taken this pack. I'll return creatures to my graveyard. Another Akum warrior. I think Royal Eruption. There's a solid big threat in black. I think I'll just go for the Royal Eruption for some removal. Because it did pass two of the other red double face cards. It may make some of the drafters inclined to pick red. Not a lot of solid green options here. That's good for a counters deck. Not quite sure we're going to be going with counters this time. So this will be good for party decks. Let's try it. Alright, that's a good... That looks like a solid card for party decks. This maybe go green white. Yeah, white white's looking open right now. Practice tactics. Yeah. Yeah, white is looking open. So I 
If we go red, white, and Boros? What are you thinking? Um, let's go with that. Flexibility with a double land. Another royal eruption. Right, so probably not going to go with their pack one, pick one, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. How many other warriors do I have? One other warrior right now. Oh, me and my opponent both drawing a card. Not too sure about that. That'll be a... Okay, top end. I think this has the most upside, though. Oh, and then the Minotaur War. Oh, yeah. Red, red and white look to be good. So the question is... That's a good three drop. The Akum Warrior is a better top end, which I don't have right now. And it does have the flexibility. Top end that I can kick. Song Mad Treachery, sure. A three one warrior. I feel like there are probably better combat tricks. I'll just take the creature. It's, I think it's going to be more important just to make sure I have a creature. I have a lot of warriors so far. Let's see if I can pick up a couple of cheap equipment spells. Alright, so I was a little unsure about the first couple picks, but it looks like we've read the signals correctly. Getting a lot of... Cowards cannot block warriors. All right, so that looks perfect in our red-white weenie deck so far. What else? We have the Blade Master, Disenchant. Yeah, yeah, we're taking the Cargan Intimidator. This looks like a perfect two drop for our deck. Pack two. So right now we have a lot of warriors. I think we need to start looking into possibly other adding creatures with other creature types for the party abilities. Although at the moment, we don't actually have, we have Outrider. Looks like that's actually the only party synergy we have so expedition champion is going to be a 4-3 most of the time we do have another another royal eruption there's also seagate banneret but i feel like the banneret is probably going to wheel let's go through royal eruption All right, this looks like a great double face card. Ooh. All right, this, this looks like a great card for us. Get an extra one drop, lower the curve. The other cards, the ox is, a is an okay top end card but I don't think it's necessary. I feel like there are better top-end cards for us. Oh, and we get the War Leader Lord, yeah. The Stampede will also be good. All right, so we are going to get two cards back from this. 
the, the war leader is probably going to wheel more often than stampede, but I feel like the war leader is more important to the deck. I'm just thinking the more important card. Oh, and we got another war leader. All right. We're going warrior tribal. Maybe the resolute strike will wheel? We'll see. So we have a 3-1, Expedition Champion, Molten Blast. We have three Royal Eruption. So let's take the Expedition Champion. Sorry, Paragon. Looks like you're not going to be in the decks. That's an interesting card, but I think we just want the extra war, war leader. Although there is an equipment. Uh, I think in pack three, we should be able to pick up at least one equipment to make our blade master better. So we have the warrior that can pump itself just in case. Is that better than a disenchant? Uh, Disenchant is a good utility card. Maybe get in the sideboard. I think let's just go to Ambusher. Cute little mouse to pump. Uh, Dauntless Unity looks like a good late game pump spell. Uh. We already have two Scorch Riders. I probably won't need a third, so let's take the Disenchant now. And another Disenchant. All right, so the rare is a blue rogue, which we will probably will not be taking. All right, so none of these cards look great for our deck. In which case, I might just take the Blood Chief's Thirst, just because it's the best card in the deck. Or it's just the best card in the pack. Pressure Point is interesting, but that's probably going to wheel. Tomato 1-3, that might be a land. Alright, with a Warrior Tribal deck... Go with that one. Uh, maybe see if the bug, the bug catcher will wheel. It's two mana, one one that gets counters. Do I want one pressure point in the deck? I, just, I feel like that this one or the other one is gonna wheel. In which case, song mad treachery. I already have one. We can take a we can take a second one. Probably won't take a third. That's the cleric to gain a couple life. So I feel like I have enough pump effects. The sneaking guide may not be able to block all that much. Take that condition champion. I feel like I'm gonna. I'm a little loaded in a three drop slot. Maybe. F hopefully, there'll be some more one drops. GP. There's a one drop with kicker. Is that better than a pack wheeze? Probably. I think that has more upside. There is an equipment. Do I want to splash black the Ravager's Mace? Uh, I guess we'll see. I also have the Blood Chief's Thirst.
All right, Skyclave Relic is a mana rock, which I won't need. This Angel Heart Protector seems solid. The Cleric will give me a flying top end card. I feel like I'm doing all right on top end threats anyways. Oh, I just auto-selected the Skyclave. I need to watch the clock more. Ooh, this will give a fling land. Or else a rogue, one drop rogue. I feel like if, I, I feel like I probably have enough creatures at this point. Let's take the fling land. And pressure point wield. Don't know if I'm going to play it, but angel heart protector. Let's take the two drop warrior. I don't think I'm going to be playing any of those other two drops. Looks like we got plenty of two drop creatures at the moment. Another practice tactics? Sure. Torch Rider and a Blipping Sunder. Okay, so let's take out all the lands right now and look at the deck. 35 cards. And three Cargan War Leaders. I saw the non-creature spells. Let's pull out those, see how many we have. There's 20 creatures right now and 14 non-creature spells. This deck, the curve is low enough. We can probably... We have... How many double-faced land cards we have? The one, two, three... Or we have six potential extra lands we could play. The downside is they will enter tapped. And because we have such a low curve, untapped lands are going to be a lot more important. Looking at first, let's look at the nine creature spells. We can cut two pack tactics, one drop. Supposed to be important. Not sure about Dauntless Unity. I think we can do better than Pressure Point. Royal Eruption. I like Sizzling Barrage. It's going to be sometimes be hard to get it set up. Then again, we do have a lot of creatures. Feel like I have better options. And right, then out of our 20 creatures. Basic 3 1. Let's 
So yeah, I won't have any equipment in the deck because splashing black for the Ravager's Mace, I don't think that's worth it. Especially since I don't have a lot of great way to make sure I can splash for it. I don't know. I can probably cut one of those. Now that's 11 non-creature spells, 17 creatures. I probably need to cut some more of these. I think... Right, creatures. I think I'm looking fine on the curve. I probably won't need two song of song mad treacheries. I can drop one of those. Spike field hazard. I feel like there's enough X ones. It'll probably get some use. Now like this, we have 13. So right now, if we just add 13 lands, be 13 lands and five extra lands for 18 total. That could work. Today is my first day actually drafting Zinnikar Rising. So I'm not sure how many... I'm not sure exactly how many lands I can get away with while having so many potential tap lands also in the deck. I feel like I should at least get rid of one more of the non-creature spells. I like the I like the creature curve here. The question is which one do I want to get rid of? Maybe the fling land? The fling land is cute. But I feel like we're gonna have enough other removal spells who don't really need it. So now if we do this... There'd be 14 lands and 4 extra potential lands. What if I want to drop one of the other creatures in the deck? Maybe the Scorch Rider? Or else maybe the Outrider. The Outrider will give a temporary boost. I'll drop the Outrider and go with this.
Do I want to go down to six planes and eight mountain? Well, out of the... So right now we have four of the... Of the double face lands, three of them are mountains. I think I think this will be fine. All right, let's try this. See how it goes. Up against Macho Man. We have. Song Mad Treachery for a Red Lance. No t great two drop play. But we are on the play. So let's keep this. Or just play that as a tap land. Hope to draw a two drop. One one death toucher. It's not worth playing royal eruption on that. Maybe later. Target warrior. I gotta discard two cards. So at this point, if I do a planes, I wanna keep one plane in the Scorch Rider. Did I get rid of one of the removal spells? Actually. I will have the tap lands. Uh, let's try that. Not sure if that's correct. Oh, did it did not block the death toucher? That was surprising. All right, in that case. Uh, play the 4-3 next turn, play the war, war Leader. If you draw a land, we'll also have Royal Eruption up. A Draga Visionary. What if I just play the War Leader and slam, force them to block? Or else I could just Royal Eruption. Kind of regretting discarding two of my lands there. If I play the war leader, if I don't play, okay, if I don't play the war leader, they can block there and there, completely trade off the board. I think I'll do that. Force them to chump the riders, or force them to chump block the blight blade on one of them. Yeah.
Ren's thinking. So there is a... It is potentially a land, but... Because it is a 4-4... Four, four, I could use two removal spells and kill it. I don't really want to two for one myself, though I don't have to. Otherwise, I could just play the paratactician, wait a turn, the next turn, see if I can find a way to kill it. I still have spike field hazard up just in case. Then again, it will force a trade from them. I think I'm okay with that, because they'll still have Pure Tactician. Will still be a 4 3. Maybe that was incorrect. We'll see. just too strong. Does that mean we're silver now? Silver tier 4. Alright. This is a fun deck. I always enjoy playing tribal decks. Fibble flip. I go first. Oh yeah. One drop, two drop, three drop. And that'll be a two two also. On turn two and attacks. Got a zero one. Oh, they have a four three. Not block, and instead, so with one land drop, it's gonna be a four-three. I can just block it next turn. Yeah, I think let's save the practice tactics. You just play a champion. Hope to trade it with the hell. Assuming they can only play one land in a red and white deck, seems reasonable. If they do end up killing the champion this turn, I can always practice tactics to Hellhound next turn.
that's that's a bummer. So now our practice tactics won't be enough to kill it. In that case, let's just say no blocks. Next turn, then we'll be able to kill it. And even though we're at eight. Deal it four damage, even if they do pump all their creatures, it'll still die. Yep, still dead. Oh, so now they're just dead. We got there! We're able to outrace the other red-white deck. Oh, another free card. A Pouncing Shore Shark. Uh, definitely one of the more unique arts, courtesy of Dan Scott, though seen in Magic. Alright, 2-0. Let's run it back. Okay, I'm on the play. I do not have a two drop, but that's still decent hands. It'd be really nice for us to draw a two drop warrior. Our opponent does not have any plays though. So in that case, really use second like warrior to start pumping that up but our opponent has not been doing anything so far we do have a couple of removal spells once they decide to start playing something our opponent just passes See if your opponent tries to counter this. I'm playing that first main phase because if they find a way to kill the Paratactician, I still want the Archpriest to be a 2-2. Two -two. If they flash something in, you can always practice tactics it, depending on where they block. Is it worth using the practice tactics to save the paratactician? I I think it is. And their opponent is tapped out, so they won't be able to counter that either. Alright, our opponents still have a lot of cards in hand. Which is a little scary, but you still have a royal eruption. 
the next thing we do. And we can always, if they play a creature that that's bigger than ours, we can always make it a coward next turn with the Kargan Intimidator. If we draw a land, we might even be able to Songman Treachery it. Alright, so they have a 2-3. Make you a coward. Give you plus one, plus one. I don't... I don't want to lose the Arch Priest just yet. Do that. And then next next turn we'll have Song Mad Treachery. Depending on what they play. And we should be able to attack for lethal, hopefully. Four four fly. You got it. Getting in there. The A girl cannot be stopped. Another pack and another random card. And Agadim's Awakening. All right. Reno running it back again. Against Boogie Q92. I'm on the play again, which is nice. And four lands is a little disconcerting. But if we don't if we don't draw three drops to play, we can at least pump the ambusher. That is a good three drop. Just turning cards sideways. Doing what red white does. Um is only a one two maybe discard a land that might be incorrect if they do try and chump lock the ambusher I probably will just pump it Instead of playing the Paratactician. Yeah. Don't know if the opponent realized I could pop up the Ambusher. It's gonna get countered. I do have one man up. Got a 1-3. Right? Well, can at least 
chump block one. Well, not chump block, but just block. Next turn, this will be a 4-3 if it can't kill the ambusher. And I'll still have managed to pump this up, just in case. But that has death touch. That looks like a good royal eruption target. Make sure my paratactician lives. Is their opponent stuck on three lands? Oh no, they're deciding which land to play. Kill your Death Toucher. Not drawing a land there is a little disappointing, but I will need one more planes to cast the Dauntless Unity Kick. Smaller, that's okay. How many cards do I have in my graveyard? Six. So, one more attack, and that'll be uh, all the rogues will get plus one plus zero. Oh, I could have played the bug catcher. That was a mistake. Now they have Linvala. We have Royal, so... Now that is eight damage. They'll one short from killing with Dauntless Unity. So instead, we'll just save that for next turn. Oh man. Well, with my Dauntless Unity, I still should be able to attack for lethal. Ranking on up. Another random card reward. A... Is that Bayin Vale? Or Bayin Vale? Alright, we got to four wins already. 4 0, let's make it 5 0. Opponent goes first. And we have no one or two drop creatures. We do have one removal spell. This looks slow on the on, on the draw. I think this looks too slow. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I guess we're just gonna keep this and go for it. And who knows, next turn we might even draw a two drop. There's a few of them in the deck.
So now, none of those really seem big enough to make Royal Eruption worth it. If I don't ro if I don't kill the Gloom Hunter now, it's gonna attack at least twice. I think we're fine just passing. I need the warriors to survive, make my other removal spells better. Alright. So now, next turn, I might just have to kill that now. So I guess I would have been better off just killing the Gloom Hunter. So now, I think I'm going to Royal Eruption the Gloom Hunter. The next turn, I can play the War Leader with Practice Tactics up. And they have another one. Great. I don't want you to be a 2-2. That's alright. Now, do I play the war leader or the paratactician? I think I'd rather have the tactician die first. Then I'll have the practice tactics to kill the gloom hunter, assuming you don't have a way to pump it up again. And they do have a way to pump it up again. Great. So right next turn I can just royal it. At this point, I think I need to kill the I'm gonna kill the death for now, just to clear the way for my tactician war leader. is out of cards and we've got the better board today so things are looking good and next turn if we need to we'll be able to kill any other big threats they make all right we kept the slow hand and things are looking iffy with their lifelink flyers, but it looks like we've turned the corner now in the matchup. Game's still not over. But still looking good for us, so... Let's just attack with our big beaters. If I take, if I kill this right away, I can wait. All right, they're just passing. All right. Maybe they knew I had a removal spell there. At any rate, once they ran out of cards and I, and I had my two big warriors on the battlefield, the game was very, the game got to a point where they probably weren't going to win. All right, five and oh. Is that Junior Canteen Health? Interesting name. 
I have two tap lands and I'm on the play. Oof. Mulling to six on the play is rough. And while I do have two lands, I will have practice tactics and get the Intimidator up. This is probably, this is, this is an iffy keep. But I think because I'm on the play, I think I'll still be able to do all right. Next turn, play the Archpriest. And the Sogmad Treachery, unless you draw an untapped land, in which case I can just play the Intimidator. Our opponent is deep in thought about which land they want to play. So hopefully we'll draw in a land next turn, they'll be untapped. They got a 1-1 one, one flyer. All right. If they chump block there, I'm, I would be fine with it. All right, so now I'm probably gonna practice tactics or gloom hunter just to get it out of the way, or else maybe a other creature, a one four, huh? They're not attacking the, that. All right. Well, in that case, do I want to make that? No, I want. I want them to block, so I can use my practice tactics. main phase let's play the paratactician paratactician is such a great card at least in limited it's definitely been one of the best cards in my deck case I can make one of them what? let's just attack with everyone and if they try and block and kill the intimidator I can just practice tactics kill whichever one they try to use to block oh double blocking Okay, first off, give him plus one, plus one. And then pair tactics, that one. All right. Warrior tribal, too strong. 
We're now at silver two. Ravager's Mace. All right. So that was, was that six, was that six wins or five? That was six wins. One more win and we'll get the max prize support. And slash fourteen sixty seven. Opponent goes first. We have no white mana. We do have two two drops that we can play. Oh, we have the takedown. In that case, play the takedown turn one, then the intimidator, then the war leader. Yeah, we can keep this. This is what makes these flip lands so good. Just in case you need that extra land. Do I want to run out the Intimidator? Yeah, sure. I may not attack with it, but we'll see what happens. They're probably going to play a creature now, too. Yep, the 2 1. Alright, so. Ideally, I wanted to play the, the War Leader, but I think I have to kill the Scythe Cat now. So, which. At the moment. I think I'll use the. Oh, that's a. That's attacking or blocking creature. Okay, so let's just attack. If they block, I'll just practice tactics it. They may not do it though. Yep, not blocking. In that case, let's play a 1-3. Oh, and if they attack the scythe cap, we just practice tactics it. Although next turn... Yeah, let's just kill that now. So next turn, we play the, the War Leader and get one activation off of the Intimidator. Roiling Regrowth. Alright, ramping up. That only dealt it. Oh, they got two plus one plus one counters. Well, in that case, I'll still block. It's still a work answer, right, I think, just to get it off, get it off the board. So now we can play the war leader. Pump it up, tap for five. Next turn, we play another war leader. Or else maybe the bucket should have probably just the other war leader. We might just have to play the royal eruption in the bug catcher. But at any rate, we're oh Dream to Oblivion. So at this point, let's just play the other war leader. Bump you up, attack for five again. Next turn, we sh might, we do have lethal on board right now, de depending on what they do. Bomb 
finding. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so now... I need to decide what I want to do. I could just kill the 2-3 with the eruption, play the butt catcher the next turn, play the crate seal cleric kicked. That sounds good to me. Kill that. Attack. Right, then as long as they don't play more than two creatures this turn, we should be able to attack the lethal. There's one, which they played kicked. They probably won't be able to... Anything else? All right. Oh, I don't have the second white mana. Shoot. I do not have a second white mana. Well, in that case... If I play the cleric attack with that... It'll be a... It'll be a 4-3, which will trade for that. I think... I think it's worth saving the white silk cleric. I think it's worth trying to draw a white source. Yeah, our opponent is tapped out, so if we draw an untapped white source, we'll just win. That's not it. So now. So now I know they have nothing in hand. I have this decision again. If I attack with both, that'll be a 4-3. They could block there, block there. I still think I should wait for planes. So now, in that case... Back, we can play that kick. Play the Cleric. So now, that will be 4-3 when it attacks. I think that's the first time I've played Scorch Rider this draft. So they force a block there. They're, they're dead. GG opponent. Seven and O with a warrior tribal draft deck.